Hello, today I want to talk about quick sine and cosine functions. So if you know anything about video game optimization, you probably think something like this would be the fastest sine and cosine approximation algorithm. Uh, you might even think that, you know, instead of having the sine and the cosine right next to each other, you should have like one table and the cosine should just be defined as sine x plus uh, quarter rotation. Uh, but this is a lot faster because this accesses them both in one cache read. But that does mean that the table gets twice as big. However, if you want to make a faster LUT table, you can um, do something like this, where you only store an eighth of a sine table and an eighth of a cosine table. And you use the cosine values for the sine table to like get the missing one eighth because usually you need a quarter rotation. I'm thinking about making a whole video about this on my main channel. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about this, let me know and I will try to, you know, make it as interesting as possible. Uh, but you know what, actually making a LUT table, like a lookup table, is what it's called, uh, is actually really slow. The fastest way to do it that I know right now is to actually just calculate it. And to calculate it, uh, I use um, a third order polynomial. This is not the Taylor polynomial. Everyone looks at this and says, hey, Case, you're just using the Taylor polynomial. You just reinvented something that already existed. No, it's not. This is um, the only third order polynomial that satisfies f from pi divided by 2 is 1 and the uh, derivative. And, you know, the factors here are very close to those of the Taylor polynomial. So it's also kind of accurate around 0, which is very nice. Uh, but this is, you know, this has a huge error, obviously, because this is such a simple calculation. You can't calculate a sine like that. And also, yeah, fun fact, we just compute the cosine from the sine. It's a lot faster to just do this than to have a whole cosine polynomial. And um, a more accurate version of this, I theorized, was my fifth order polynomial. Oh, by the way, before I forget it, um, this was all written by EasySPy. She came up with, like, this idea for compile optimization where you have two return values in a function and one is being returned in f0 one in f2 it means you don't have to return a struct on the stack which is super cool and um, yeah so the fifth order polynomial looked okay um, I mean this was 28 instructions this one here was 23 23 instructions very little for such a complex function but there was an issue with the fifth order polynomial. Look at this. The coefficients of it got so small that the N64 CPU can no longer accurately evaluate them. So now all the values look really, really weird. And you have seen my video yesterday on the sign approximation algorithm from Wish. Hopefully you have seen that. And yeah. That was um, the Bhaskara approximation, I think. No, that was the min error numeric one, where I just took easy as pi's polynomial and I minimized the error over the whole function. The error was just a third of what it was before. But obviously, the values can now grow beyond one because we no longer satisfy f dash and pi divided by two is zero. And now, some of Mari's bones were scaled up. So what else do we have? We have the Sinko's fourth order polynomial here. Right here. This one is, I think, 25 instructions. Its error is just like a 50th of what uh, EasySPy's polynomial was. We can take advantage of the fact that one is just a hardware register in my repo. So this is also super good. I'm probably gonna use this for the gameplay threat. And I'm gonna use this for the graphics thread, because graphics don't need to be that accurate. An error of 0 0.02 is fine here. There were some other ideas I went over, like uh, I said the Bhaskara one, who is a 7th century Indian mathematician. He came up with this idea here. <laughs> this one was 28 instructions, but it has a much higher error than this one, and it's one instruction more. It looked good at first, so that's gonna make for a cool story in the video, but it's not good. So yeah, if you have any questions about this, anything you wanna know, 
let me know and I will try to make this into the main channel video and hopefully this will be interesting to watch. See ya!